Hello guys, I'm the creator of the game called Snappy Mouse Run and in this video I will show you how you can exchange bitmaps and vector graphics between GIMP and Inkscape. It seems like a straightforward process, but some seemingly obvious things don't work out of the box yet and I will show you how you can work around those. Also make sure to use the newest versions of Inkscape and GIMP. I'm using Inkscape version 1.1 and GIMP version 2.10.22. I have a small UM mockup here of a game that I'm currently working on. If you're interested, you can find more about the games that I'm working on in the description. Now, when I exchange objects between those two programs, I expect that the size of the pasted object is matching the mockup size and that the objects are pasted at the correct position. Let's start with the most complicated use case first. Let's say I want to copy a path object from GIMP over to Inkscape. Open the path window under Windows Dockable Dialogs, Paths. Here you can see I have only this one path which resembles this crap here. And let's say I want to copy this one over to Inkscape. At the time of recording direct copy pasting of path objects from GIMP to Inkscape unfortunately does not work, but thankfully there is a workaround which is exporting the path to a vector file and importing that file in Inkscape. But before we do that, we first need to check image properties in both programs. This is important because when exchanging files, we need to make sure that the settings are matching. In GIMP, I like to check the settings under image, scale image. Here you can say the image size in pixels, which is 1080 x 1920. And here is the pixel density, which is 300 x 300 pixels per inch. If I change the unit from pixels to inches, we can see the size in inches. You can find the same settings in Inkscape under File, Document Properties. Here they are. So the pixel size in Inkscape is 1080 x 1920, which matches the one in GIMP. And if I change the unit to inches, also here, then we can see that the size in inches does not match with the one in GIMP. So we need to synchronize those. Usually you would synchronize the settings before you even start working on your project, but I intentionally took such an example where the settings are mismatching to show you how to work around that. When we are exporting from GIMP to Inkscape, then it's best to change the settings in GIMP before the export. To find the right settings, expand the view box in Inkscape, and here we will write the same size as we have here in pixels, so we'll write 1080 times 1920. You see the mockup is shrinking, but don't worry, we don't lose any quality here and it's only temporarily. Now we have the right settings, which is 96 times 96 units per inch, so we will write this one over in GIMP, 96. And for the fixed pixel size, you can see that the image size in inches has changed here, and this one is now matching with the size in Inkscape. So this is exactly what we want. The pixel size and the size in inches is matching in both programs. As a rule of thumb, when you're working in GIMP, you're working with pixels. GIMP does not really care about the other settings, it only cares about the size in pixels. So when we now apply those settings, we will not lose any quality because the size in pixels will stay the same. This is very important, always check that the size in pixels is the same before applying, otherwise you may lose quality. So let's apply this, undo the changes in Inkscape. Control Z. You may think, no, wait, the settings are not matching anymore. But as you can see, the page size in pixels and page size in inches are still the same. And this is the only relevant information for input export. We use the viewport scaling to get the right pixel per inch density for GIMP. And because unfortunately the viewport scale is not pixel per inch, but unit per inch, we needed to make the unit the same size as the pixel. And yes, usually you would leave the viewport size the same as the size in pixels, but in this case I don't want to scale my mockup to demonstrate that it doesn't actually matter. If it sounds confusing, just remember that the only thing that matters for import-export is the page size in pixels and in inches. Now we can export, so in GIMP right click on the path object we want to export, export path, I'll call it crap.svg, save. Now find the file in your file explorer and open it in a separate Inkscape session. Here it is, now press Ctrl A to select everything and Ctrl C to copy everything. Back to our mockup, in here go to edit, paste in place. And there we go, the size is matching and also the position is matching. It is tedious, but this is the most precise way. The good thing is that you only need to synchronize the settings once, save them and don't worry about them again. So as said, if you plan to use both programs in your project, it's always good to set the same settings on both at the project start. Now let's copy a path object from Inkscape over to GIMP. Let's say I want to copy those fishing hooks. In Inkscape, under Object, go to Objects. Here you can see the layers and object hierarchy similar as we have here in GIMP. 
and if I select the fishing hook here, we can see that it consists of multiple path objects. First I will show you the shorter, less precise way to copy paths over to GIMP. Hold Shift, select both objects, go over to GIMP and in the path window, right click, paste path. Here it is, it pasted the path as a single object, now select the alignment tool, select the path and set align to image and here we will write the offset as we can see here in Inkscape. So for the offset X, 857 and for offset Y, let's write 466. Align X, align Y. And here it is at the right position. This was the short way and probably you have noticed that the offset values are rounded up to a pixel and not perfectly precise. At the time of recording there is no way that I know of to move a path object in GIMP to a subpixel value. If you want a precise position then you need to export the path object to a vector file and import that in GIMP. Let's see how that works and since import export is involved this method also requires synchronizing the path settings in both programs as we did before. To export only the selected paths we need to place them in a separate document. So turn on snapping, turn on snapping to notes and snapping to page border. Now select the rectangle tool, snap to the page corner and draw the rectangle over the whole page until it snaps to the opposite corner. Now hold Ctrl and select both fishing hooks we want to export. Press Ctrl C to copy. Now go to File, New. In the new document press Ctrl V to paste. Here it is. And now go to Edit, Resize page to selection. Now deselect everything and select only the rectangle and delete it. Press Delete. Ready for export. Now go to File, Save As, and I'll call it Hooks SVG. Save. Let's close this one and delete the rectangle. Now in GIMP, right click in the path window and select Import Path, Hooks SVG, open. And here is our path already pasted at the correct position. And if I zoom in, we can see that the old copied path is indeed a bit off. So with the import export method we actually imported the pad at the precise position. Let's delete the old hooks, delete and that's it. Now with the most difficult use cases out of the way, let's see how we can copy a bitmap from GIMP over to Inkscape. Thankfully we don't need to export bitmaps but if you still choose to do so, no problem just make sure that the image settings are matching in both programs like we did before. I have also a crab layer here which is invisible currently, there it is. Now let's say we want to copy the image over to Inkscape. Make sure the layer in GIMP is selected and press Ctrl C to copy. And go over to Inkscape, press Ctrl V. Here it is. Now let's select the layer like that. Now back in GIMP, right click on the layer and select Edit Layer Attributes. Here you can see the layer position and we will write those values over to Inkscape. So with the layer selected, let's write in those values 370 and Y is. 147. Then cancel this one, right click on the layer again, select scale layer. Here we can see the image size which is 319 times 265 and we'll write those values also in Inkscape. 319, 265. And don't worry you don't lose any quality when scaling in Inkscape. Inkscape does not manipulate the bitmap pixels like GIMP does. So that's it, pretty straightforward. Finally, let's copy a bitmap from Inkscape over to GIMP. Let's say I want to copy this fishing net, so if I select it and drag it to the side, we can see that the star object and the shell object are not part of the fishing net. And also if I expand the fishing net, we can see that it consists of multiple path objects. Let's undo the move, Ctrl Z. Now select the fishing net, hold Shift, select the star object and the shell object. Now go to Edit, make a bitmap copy. Here it is. Now press Ctrl to copy it, go over to GIMP, select Edit, Paste As, New Layer in Place. Now right click on the layer, select Edit Layer Attributes and here we will write the position from Inkscape, of course in pixels. So offset X is 23 and offset Y is 585, ok? And here it is. And since we use the bitmap copy, the X and Y coordinates are perfectly aligned to a pixel. That's it, all use cases covered and that's it for this video. If you are interested in more game creation content you can find similar videos on this channel so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. Thank you very much for watching, give a thumbs up if you liked the video and see you in the next one, bye!